Yeah, the food show is so that I don't be back in the penitentiary gathering new prison stories. You feel me? They got to make some type of guap doing this. You heard? I take a half a day off. Y'all dudes think I retired. Y'all going to get tired before I get tired. Y'all going to retire listening before I retire telling stories. So, yeah, as far as dudes that's asking about the dude in Comstock that I told you I came through and he was a loud mouth dude and dudes was like, yo, he going to be a bitch. When I came back that second round, with the second time around where I, where, where I spoke to the kid who had all the time on myself, I definitely saw Son again. And Son was a straight bitch. I'm going to keep it real with you. I was in shock, my nigga. I'm talking about switching Kool-Aid on the lips, all of that. I was in shock. I'm like, I know that ain't that nigga. I know that ain't that regular hood nigga that came through like a regular nigga. And now he's a straight bitch? I never saw nothing like that, bro. Stuff like that don't happen in the medium so often. You heard? Niggas converting niggas in there. You heard? Nigga was switching. Now I mean, looking like a chick. I'm like, I know that ain't that nigga. And it sure was, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So it's real. It's not a rumor how some dudes go to the can and they just get turned out and become bitches, bro. And that's a fact. And, and another thing about my last Comstock story, it was two different kids that was on the tier with me. And I might be getting them mixed up on which one was the one that sung their ass off because it was this other kid named Buck that I was with, too. That son sung his ass off. So it might have not been the kid, Monk, who was who was singing. I was there with Monk, too, if I'm not mistaken. But it was the kid. It might have been the kid, Buck, who was singing his ass off. Sometimes I might get a couple of details like that confused. You know what I mean? I'm going to correct them if I can. One of them dudes was blowing their ass off. Pause, you heard? But like, yeah, man. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention about Comstock. Comstock was the first time, was the first place I ever taste Jack Mac. I saw Jack Mac in other jails like Washington, Oneida. I was, I was like, I'm not eating that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I was too prissy. I'm like, nigga, I'm not eating that canned, disgusting, stink ass fish that niggas be cleaning. You feel what I'm saying? So one day I was in Comstock I on A8 and niggas was frying it up. When I was on B7 the first time, I wasn't trying to fuck with Jack Mac even then. You heard? But when I was on um, A8 one day, I was starving. Somebody, I think it was my nigga, um, Val, matter of fact, that was his name, Old Timer Val, Spanish Puerto Rican nigga, he was an old timer. The nigga Val was fricasseeing up some um, Mac, that's fricasseeing up some Jack Mac in his hot pot. You understand what I'm saying? The niggas was like, yo, he was like, yo, son, you, 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 wanna, you wanna plate, man, you wanna eat? So I'm like, yo, I ain't never ate that Jack Mac shit before, bro, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Niggas like, yo, nigga, try this shit, you crazy, you gonna love this shit. Niggas gave me a plate, my nigga, rice, beans, and Mac. You would think that shit was, was made in a restaurant. Niggas making that shit in a hot pot in they cell. Niggas gave me that shit, rice, beans, and Jack Mac. I bit into that first piece of Jack Mac. I'm like, yo, this jail shit got me wilding out. Like, I'm eating bullshit like this. I bit into that shit. Yum. Light was shining in my cell. I'm like, what the fuck was I doing not eating this Jack Mac? From that day on, nigga, it was a love-lust relationship with Mac. You heard? I'm the Mac King. I don't eat fish no more. But let me tell you something. I, I'm a five-star general with Mac, bro. I'm talking about any style, battered, fry, anything you could think of, I could do with that Jack Mac, bro. You understand what I'm saying? I'm nasty with it for facts, facts. But it's like, yeah, man, I have forgot to mention that. That um, Comstock was the first place I actually tasted some Jack Mac, bro. And niggas was getting busy in that metal hot pot. Anybody that was in the Max is to tell you. Niggas was getting busy in that metal hot pot with that stinger. Listen, bro, it was ugly. You heard? So, boom, after these dudes sent me, after these dudes shipped me out of Comstock, I was on my way headed to Franklin. But first, we would stop at Clinton. Basically, when you come into that hub, mostly everybody got to stop at Clinton first. You feel what I'm saying? Because Clinton is where... They bring everybody, it's the center of the hub, and then they decide if you're going to Franklin, Bear Hill, Altona, uh, Riverhead, or fucking Camp Gabriel, or wherever you're going to go to that's in that hub. You feel what I'm saying? Of course, Clinton is in Denimora. You know what I mean? That's the, the same jail from that movie, Escape from Denimora. Like, when you pull up to Clinton, my nigga, it's a whole different energy. Like, first of all, I think they got the biggest wall like they wall take up a whole block like real talk like when you when you see the outside of the jail like big ass giant wall take up a whole mad 
should take up mad space. You feel what I'm saying? The energy in Clinton is just, it's just a mad depressing energy because that shit is like the max. That's like the furthest away from New York. You feel me? It's a couple of other maxes by Buffalo or whatever that's dumb far too. But that Clinton, man, that's like next to Canada. It's just, it's just a whole stressful aura of the whole jail. Like as soon as you walk in there, you be like, this ain't New York City. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like the whole vibe in there is different. So boom, like I told you, when we first got there, as soon as we got off the bus, they lined us up, or they lined us up out the bus. And the police came, like, they do, like, a little orientation speech. And the police was like, listen, they like, does anybody need protective custody? Speak up now. He said, because if you come into this jail and one of my officers get injured trying to stop, trying to pull somebody up off your ass, you're going to die in this motherfucking jail. Straight up. Nigga said, you're going to die in this motherfucking jail. Nigga said, I'm sure all of y'all by now heard the rumors about the bodies under the gym floor. It's not a rumor. You could be under that gym floor if you want to. So, I'm going to let y'all know. This is not New York City. Don't come in here with your pants sagging. Don't come in here loud and all of that. Because you ain't going to make it in here. This ain't Sing Sing. This ain't none of those other Max Jails. This is Clinton. This ain't none of them other Max Jails. This Denimora. You heard? And nigga said, and no matter what you do, you could go run and tell whoever you want to tell. All of the rumors are true. We all related to each other. The nurse is my cousin. The sergeant is my brother-in-law. The captain is my brother. We all related and connected. So it's nobody you could run to to snitch on to. It's nothing you could do. We run this shit. We don't care about Albany. We don't care about... Your people's in the streets calling up. It don't matter. This is our jail and we run this shit. Real talk. He said, so if you need peace, if any of y'all need protective custody, speak now forever hold your peace. Once again, if one of my officers gets stabbed or hurt trying to pull somebody off your ass, you gonna die in this motherfucking jail. Period. Everybody's standing there silent, my nigga. Niggas is quiet. This different. We ain't hear speeches like this. This is different. Clinton is different. You heard? So boom. So we go to this little area. They got like a hub transport area where mad inmates sit there. They may eat lunch or whatever. And then they could get shipped out to whatever jail they going to, whichever bus comes. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there with all the dudes I left Comstock with, other dudes from other jails. Everybody getting called to their jail. Yo, you going to Franklin. You going to Bear Hill. You going to Altona. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas like, yo, nobody wants to go to Altona because the whole jail double bunk. Niggas like, that's the worst jail in the hub. The whole fucking jail is double bunk. You understand what I'm saying? So, boom, niggas start calling niggas to go to their jails. I'm looking around, like, like I said, Clinton look crazy. When you come in there, that shit is so old. There's a maxi max. That shit look crazy. Should have had you feeling a certain kind of way. So while they started calling niggas for their buses and shit, I'm like, yes. I'm like, yes, they calling dudes for these mediums. They about to get me the fuck out of here. Because all I was in there worried about, I'm like, I hope these niggas don't send me to Clinton. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I hope they don't send me to population in Clinton, my nigga. I'm good. I done heard too much shit about Clinton. It's not a place for kids. You heard? So I swear to you, these dudes start calling the buses. Everybody like, yo, we out, son. We going to our mediums. We good. You feel me? Niggas call my name. I'm like, yes. I get up, niggas is like, niggas start looking at my paperwork for extra long. I'm like, why this nigga looking at my paperwork like that? Nigga just says, oh, wait a minute. We got one guy here that's still SHU. So I'm like, SHU? I'm like, I just came from Comstock, keep locked the whole time I was there. Like, like I shouldn't be able, I shouldn't have to be locked down no more. He was like, yeah, that's keep locked. That's not SHU. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, that's what they told me in Comstock. Like, my box days would be finished in, in Keep Lot. It was like, nah. So, boom. Real talk, my nigga. Niggas was like, yo, we got one for the box. Niggas was like, yo, we got one for the box. I'm like, oh, man, come on. These niggas sending me to another box? I'm tight now, my nigga. Everybody leaving except for me. They, I'm the only nigga they talking about, yo, you still owe 10 days in a box. I'm like, what you talking about? How I owe 10 days in a box? I just did mad Keep Lock time. So, luckily... It wasn't no space in the box. You heard? It wasn't no space in the box. So niggas was like, all right, so fuck it. Send him to a cell and he'll, he, 
So everybody else left, nigga send me to a motherfucking block upstairs. I'm like, thanks, just my motherfucking luck. I don't even know how I owe 10 days in a box. Niggas got my paperwork fucked up, whatever. I ends up not leaving and they keep me in Clinton. So they take me upstairs to the cells, you feel me? When they take me to the cell, first thing I notice, I'm like, these cells is twice the size as the cells in Comstock. You feel what I'm saying? This was, this was like 94. So I'm fresh out of keep locking Comstock, so the cell thing is not bothering me. I get comfortable. So I'm there for a few days and shit. You know what I mean? Clinton ain't the what Clinton ain't loud and wild like Comstock. That shit is more locked down. You feel me? So I don't know nobody on my tier. I'm not. I I learned my lesson from the last spot. We're running my mouth all crazy on the gate. I'm not doing that at all. There's a kid next to me. He a tall, dark skinned nigga fronts in his mouth. Know what I mean? Mad dark skinned nigga fronts in his mouth. And know what I mean, every once in a while, I see the nigga like peer into my cell. I ain't never speak two words to the nigga. I only see him here in regular population. So I only see him when he locking out or locking in. You feel what I'm saying? Minding my business. I'm doing stupid shit like making cups of hooch. Dumb shit that if they would have ran up in my cell and caught that, would have been another ticket right there. I'm listening to other niggas on how to make hooch and shit. I'm practicing that shit in my cell, bugging out. Like, but like, yeah. So after I was there for a few days and shit, right? One night, it's nighttime. I'm in my cell, minding my business, you heard? I hear somebody calling me. Like, I hear somebody like, and yo, and yo, next cell. And yo, next cell. So I'm like, why is this nigga calling me? You heard? I don't know this nigga. So I'm like, yo, what up? He like, yo. You like, you smoke? You smoke weed? So I'm like, you know, you know, you know the type of shit going through my mind. I'm like, booty bandit alert. The spidey sense was like, butt alert, butt in danger. Know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm like, do I smoke weed? I'm like, yeah, I smoke weed when I got some. You feel what I'm saying? So a nigga was like, yo, I got some weed, my nigga. I'm going to pass some off to you. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm good, my bro. Like, I don't even know this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? At all. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of good, my bro. Like, I'm chilling and shit. Like, you feel me? So he like, nah, my nigga, not even more no funny shit, bro. He like, not even more no funny. He like, not even more no funny shit, my nigga. I know this jail. He like, yo, it's my birthday, my nigga. He said, it's my birthday. You know what I mean? And for the sake of the story, we'll call son F. So he like, yo, you know what I mean? Nah, my name F, my nigga. Like, you heard? It's my birthday, my nigga. You feel me? And niggas hit me with all type of shit, but I don't really fuck with the smoke. You know what I mean? I fuck with the D. You heard? I'm still skeptical. You heard? He like, yo, I'm from Brooklyn, my nigga. Red Hook, where you from? I'm like, yo, I'm from the Ville. He like, okay, that's what's up. He's like, yeah, but on some real shit, my nigga, you want to smoke? You know what I mean? I got you, my nigga. You don't owe me nothing. It ain't no funny, fun. it ain't no funny shit, booty bandit shit, none of that. It's just my birthday, my nigga, and I'm stressed. And I want to get high with somebody, you heard? So I was like, all right, my nigga. So he's in the cell next to me. My son tosses that shit. You feel me? I get the shit. Open that shit up. That shit a whole joint, you heard? Brolic shit and all of that. Psh, lit that shit up, my nigga. Took two or three pulls of that shit, nigga. I hadn't smoked in so long. That shit had twisted, you heard? I'm like, damn, I'm nice. Me and son polying. We just polying the whole night. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, son. So real talk after me and son, now me started polying. Like I said, it's his birthday. I mean, we just getting to know each other. That nigga like, yo, son, I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. Son, he was like, yeah, son, I got 25 to life. You heard for a body. I'm like, damn. I mean, he like, yo. He like, yo, bro, I mean, I'm so stressed out with this time, my nigga. He said, my nigga, listen, bro. He said, this is why I need to get high. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, some niggas gave you a quarter and shit? He like, yeah, my nigga, I blew trial, man. He said, I mean, and, and the crazy shit is, bro. He said, I ain't do this shit, my nigga. And he said, yo, everybody say that in jail. A bunch of niggas say they innocent so they could go home. He said, but my nigga on some G shit. He said, I really didn't do this shit, my nigga. He said, now nah, I'm going to keep it real. My gun was going off. He said, I done did some things, my nigga. I done did some things, know what I mean? And I done put that work in in the streets, my nigga. And it's shit that I got away with that I could have went to jail for. But this particular body right here, my nigga, 
He said, I did not do this shit, my nigga. He said, it was a police in Red Hook that hated my guts, my nigga. And he knew I was busting my gun and he couldn't catch me. You feel me? He said, these niggas pinned this body on me, my nigga. He said, niggas paid off a crackhead. He said, niggas made a crackhead testify, gave a crackhead some bread or whatever and made them testify against me and say that they saw me pull the trigger. Niggas said, that shit was a straight lie, my nigga. These niggas were straight crooked cops that was trying to get me out the street because I was doing my numbers. You heard? So I'm like, damn, my nigga. So, I mean, it's a lot of niggas running around jail screaming innocent, my nigga. And, you know, it make it, it, make it look fucked up for niggas like me. That really is innocent, my nigga. Nigga said, yo, this, this shit breaking me, my nigga. He was like, this time? He said, this shit breaking me. He said, I be in my cell thinking about all the shit that I did. Like, yo, this is karma. This is karma for the shit that I did and got away with. You feel what I'm saying? He said, but yo, I'm sitting here doing 25 of life, my nigga, for a murder that I didn't catch. You feel me? He said, this shit different, you heard? Doing time for some shit you ain't do is different. You know what I mean? And me and son was just building all night. You know what I mean? And I, that shit hurt, nigga. That nigga was like, yeah, bro. He said, like, I'm trying to get this appeal popping. I'm trying to do what I can to get out of here, my nigga. He said, but yo, this shit got me sick, bro. He said, this shit got me sick, bro. He was like, that's why I'm fucking with this D. He said, nigga, I don't fuck with no D. Like, I need something that's going to make me forget about this shit sometimes, bro. He said, because this shit breaking my back, you heard? I'm in here doing 25 to life for a next nigga crime, son. Real talk, like, that shit was crazy. Son told me all of that, man. I was like, damn, bro. That shit just started making me think, like, how many, how many other motherfuckers that say they innocent, that people be thinking they just capping, you feel me? And they really innocent, bro. They really ain't catch that B.O. Even though they may have been a beast in the streets. They may have been a beast in the streets, bro. But the law is the law. If a dude did not commit that crime, he should not be in jail for that. Doing that time for that. You feel what I'm saying? And it's a bunch of dudes sitting in the penitentiary because of some crooked ass, filthy ass cops. And we know this is not a rumor. This is true. It's on the news every other day, bro. And so on the news, people get their cases overturned every other day. People getting exonerated and their cases overturned every other day. Remember that cop a couple of years back that they found out son did all they had to they had to let mad people go that this dude put in jail because son was a crooked liar. You feel me? That was just making up shit and putting niggas in the penitentiary. And it's just sad to believe that you got a bunch of dudes sitting in the pen that they ain't even do that crime, bro. They didn't even do that crime, but because they a black motherfucker, somebody said they saw a dark-skinned black motherfucker shooting a gun, and nigga, the jury convict you, bro. A jury supposedly of your peers that's really not your peers. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, it's crazy in this penitentiary, bro. It's crazy in the penitentiary. So like I said, me and son got mad cool. After that, I was there for maybe another five, six days. And me and son got mad cool. And when they packed me up and I had to leave, son, I felt like shit, bro. I felt like shit. And I'm mad I ain't get son whole full name and all of that shit. I may have had it, but this, I lost shit. And, and, and I lost shit moving around the state. You feel me? But I want to find son and see if he's still in the pen. And I hope he gave some of that time back. Real talk. But it's like, that was my bro. Son was from Red Hook, you heard? And I ain't know son from a can of paint. And son just was spreading love the Brooklyn way, you heard? And me and son got real cool. And I had love for son real quickly, you heard? Got a bleeding heart, you heard? Now I mean, for motherfucker, if he a good dude, man, I'ma have love for the dude, you heard? But yeah, man, I wasn't in Clinton too long. Eventually they packed me up and they sent me to Franklin. And I done gave y'all a whole bunch of stories about Franklin already, you feel me? I was in Franklin twice, like I said, and I was in the Clinton hub for three years in Franklin twice, Camp Gabriel, you feel me? So I did a lot of growing up in Franklin. And being that I told so many different stories about Franklin, now I'm gonna go into another great story. I was swinging, like I had it oh, you in my had hand. It this way. Yeah, I had it just in my so hand. I was just on some Jason shit, you feel oh, me? Just, just stabbing. The, 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 the trash heat 
They was finding bodies, bro. They had to cement this shit because motherfuckers was stashing bodies in there, bro. It was bodies in our dumpster. We found a body when I was a kid. Acting like they come back to the projects and they was this and they was that, be in there washing drawers, boofing stuff. He just, that same nigga just came back with a whole carton of cigarettes in his ass. A whole carton. You understand what I'm telling you? Them niggas be big boofers. You understand me? Stop playing with you. Big niggas, boofers. Man. You hear me, bro? I swear to God. Started running towards the Muslims. The Muslims start running mm. towards the park and they just started airing each other out. Hold on your, on your tear said. Yeah. Say I've been waiting to tear your ass up, you feel me? And grab the little nigga by the neck, you feel me? And threw him on the bed. I ain't gonna lie that I ever did anything to you. They deserve to get it. You understand? I stand on that. Oh, no, no, no.